last year and actually over the last few years, nearly every American started to understand the importance of those tiny microchips that power everything in our 21st century lives. So that's why I'm so excited by today's announcements. Our universities are ready to compete for the more than $100 billion authorized in the Chips and Science Act for scientific research and workforce training. Washington State Universities, including, of course, the University of Washington, are already at the forefront, creating next generation chips and training the workforce to build them. If you look at Seattle, you see whether it is the company Boeing or whether it is Microsoft, whether it is Amazon, there are many, many examples of companies that have essentially birthed out of the ideas that have emanated from institutions like University of Washington and other places. And the people who have been trained in these institutions who then birth these kinds of companies. And I met some undergraduate students today. Unbelievable work that they're doing as part of the research. I'm very excited yeah. to be here and see all of this in action. And uh, it's, it's good to be soaked in that, in that environment. And I have no doubts that the future is there for us. It is right there for us. Next generation chip architecture. We are already doing this work. It's all about impact. It's all about taking our science in the community where it can make a difference in the world.